So if you own a home right now, it's likely that you've seen your home's value increase quite a bit over the last few years. And like many homeowners, you're probably wondering, how do I tap into my home's equity? And for those that are unsure, equity is the difference between your loan balance and your home's value. And your equity grows by appreciation and by making the monthly payments every single month, which you're required to do as a homeowner anyway. So the strategy for this is by using what's called a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, I ask that you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to learn how you can make your real estate journey a breeze. So as a mortgage lender who's been in the business for over 17 years, I've personally helped over 4,000 people purchase or invest in their dream home. And we've helped many of those clients obtain a HELOC to gain access to tens of thousands of dollars of equity that they're already sitting on so they can repurpose that and invest into other real estate opportunities or just into investments to help them build wealth. So let's jump into the nuts and bolts so you know exactly how to use a HELOC to its fullest potential. A HELOC is essentially a second mortgage that allows you to borrow against the equity that you already have. The way that your equity is determined is by an appraisal. Just like when you buy a house, you get an appraisal to make sure we know what the value is. When you get a HELOC, the lender does an appraisal to make sure we know exactly what the value is, compare that to what your loan balance is, and the difference is your equity. And you can borrow a certain amount of that equity without maxing out. You never want to borrow exactly what your home is worth because if home values drop, which can happen, you're going to be upside down. So generally speaking, you can only borrow somewhere between 80 to 90% of your home's value. So how do you get a HELOC? Most people tend to reach out to the lender they used when they bought their home. Some people talk to a local bank in their community. At the end of the day, you're applying for a new mortgage. It's just like getting pre-approved or buying a home except there's no realtors or attorneys involved. So you connect with your lender, you provide some basic information with your credit and your income, but the biggest determining factor of how much money you can borrow is the appraisal. Once you submit your information to your lender, they send an appraiser out, the appraiser determines your home value, and again, the value minus your home balance leaves us with the equity, and that's how we determine how much equity you can tap into. Generally speaking, there's two types of HELOCs. The most common type of HELOC is a lump sum of cash, So let's say you took out $100,000. The process might take two to three weeks after the appraisal and the underwriting is done. And when it's time to close, the lender literally sends you a wire to your bank account for $100,000 and you begin paying on that loan, just like you would on any loan, the following month. There's a second type of HELOC that's kind of like a credit card. We call it an open line of credit. And the way it works is you might have a $100,000 line, but you don't have to draw on it right away. Sometimes people prefer this option because they might not be ready to make the investment. They might not be ready to buy that asset or purchase that piece of real estate, but they want to have access to the cash, just like a checkbook. So you apply for the HELOC, you go through the same process, and at closing, you kind of get an open checkbook up to a certain amount that allows you to access that cash as you need it. Now, drop a thumbs up in the comments if you picked up at least one or two helpful tips so far. Let me know how I'm doing. Now let's jump into some of the best ways to use a HELOC. Historically, the most common use of a HELOC was home improvements. When people buy homes over time, they like to upgrade, modify, improve the kitchen, the bathroom, the floors. Sometimes you got to replace a roof. Sometimes you got to finish a basement. A HELOC is a great way to leverage equity to get that home in the condition that you want. Another common way is debt consolidation. Interest rates on credit cards are historically high. And over the last few years, credit card debt nationally has hit levels we've never seen before. Leveraging a HELOC at a much lower rate to consolidate and eliminate all that credit card debt can bring down your monthly expenses by hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. My favorite way to use a HELOC is to literally buy other real estate. You see, real estate is an asset. Not only can you create cash flow, but it can help you offset some of the income taxes you owe because there's tax efficiencies. So it's very common to use a HELOC as a down payment on either an investment property or if you're moving out of your primary residence and you want to convert it to a rental, you can take a HELOC out on that property So you can have a down payment on your new home and hopefully the rental income you receive covers the first mortgage payment and the HELOC payment together. And the last intelligent way is for other investments. Some people are opening businesses. Some people want to invest in the stock market. Some people are buying crypto and some people just have other ways to invest and to earn a return on that investment. A HELOC is a great way to have your money work for you. But I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you how you should not use a HELOC. Please don't use a HELOC to buy a depreciating asset like a car or a motorcycle. I know it sounds appealing. Not a good idea. And really just blowing cash frivolously on luxury items that you don't really need. 
think twice about that because this is a loan you're going to continue to pay for the next 7, 10, or even 15 years. You really just don't want to use that money irresponsibly and spend it frivolously on luxury items that you just don't need. Remember, a HELOC is a loan and you have to make a payment every single month. Now, if you want to make your home buying journey a bit easier, click the link below to get access to my ultimate home buyer checklist. And now that you understand what a HELOC is and how to use it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to get more value-packed videos just like this.